Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, subtract uh, 4y squared plus 5y minus 1 uh, minus 2y cubed minus 3y plus 5. Uh, so to go ahead and do this, the one, there's a couple different ways that we can do this. Uh, one way that I'm going to go and do this is just go ahead and use the, what we call the vertical method. Because whenever we're combining, adding, or subtracting, um, polynomials, we can only combine when they're in like terms. So when I use the vertical method, what I'm doing is just aligning the like terms together. So I'm simply going to take uh, my first polynomial as 4y squared plus 5y minus 1. Then I'm simply going to write this down, below the next polynomial, below it. 2y cubed minus 3y plus 5. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can do this. Notice that you're subtracting this polynomial from this polynomial. And a couple of different ways we can do this is we can rewrite it as an addition problem, meaning make sure you write this in parentheses and distribute the negative to both of them and then change it to a positive. Or if you're going to continue it as a subtraction problem, which I'm going to do, just make sure you say what you're, what you're doing out loud. Um, and I'll talk about that as I go. But the main important thing, oops, I forgot to even mention to you with this. So obviously, when you're looking at this, make sure that you align the variables right that are like terms. So we have our constants. We have our linear variables. But here you can see, here's y squared and here's y cubed. Those are not the same, right? So therefore, I need to say, well, since I don't have a y squared down below, I can say 0y squared. And then this one would be, you can do a positive 0y squared. It's not going to matter. And then this one would be um, 2y cubed. But then up here, there's no y cubed. So you could say, well, there is a 2, a 0y cubed. All right. Now, you don't have to put those zeros in there, but I like to use them as a place value, especially when I'm rewriting this expression so to make sure that I understand exactly what I'm doing. So now you can see that each variable is aligned with its like term, the term that has the same variable factors. Now, when subtracting, again, I'm going to say it out loud. 0y cubed minus 2y cubed. Now, again, remember, when we're subtracting monomials, um, what we want to do is, you know, the variable remains the same. We're just really subtracting the coefficients. So 0, minus, zero uh, minus 2 is really just negative 2, right? So this becomes a negative 2y cubed. 4 minus 0, well, that's just going to be 4y squared. 5y minus a negative. So a lot of times, if we have trouble, what I do is write this out. 5y minus a negative 3y. You can see that's a double negative, right? So it really turns into a positive, which would be 8y. And now I have negative 1 minus 5, which would be a negative 6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you subtract two polynomials. Thanks.